interested in having a little fun drawing inside of Excel with a little bit of interaction to make the coloring easier? Let's wrap up all the presents and see how this spreadsheet works. As usual, you can download this workbook and many others with all the source code free of charge from the website in the description. So let's talk about uh, some of the functionality and how to use the spreadsheet, and then uh, we'll break down how it works. These first few boxes are for tracing, and there's a few preset pictures you can trace over. The colors are already defined below and labeled, so you know where to color in the picturette. To select one of the colors, you just click the little swatch for it, and you'll see the dot, dot, dot. And then you can just select straight into the picture frame to apply that color. You can apply colors wrong, and uh, that's okay. You can actually draw something else entirely different if you want. Uh, but it wants to, this part is meant for tracing, so it's just sort of giving you uh, the, the hints on how to do it. To apply the color, you just click onto the picture or the frame, and you can select a range to make the whole range of colors you can see here. Uh, but you can also just do single cells uh, as well. There's uh, four templates to start with. You can add more. Uh, once I break down the book a little bit later, you'll be able to see how to do it. This kind of tracing is probably more fun for kids. Uh, this could give them a little introduction to just selecting and clicking on things in Excel. And they can grow to maybe a custom thing later on where they just size the grid and uh, fill the cells themselves. If you see that undo button in the upper left, if you press that for any of the traces, it sort of reverts back to the tracing form. And so if you did do something like a custom picture, just make a mistake, you're like, oh, I want to undo that, just hit that undo button, it'll blast back the, uh, the traceable version. On the next sheet are two empty ones, and in here they're just kind of bounding boxes, but you can then use the cell fill color to start filling in and creating your own uh, picture. Let's talk a bit about how it works. If you load the name manager, you can see that there's a bunch of names that define all the clickable areas. And so in this case, there's a bunch for the swatches, and there's also a bunch for the uh, the areas that you can actually paint in. Uh, there's some for the undo button as well. And putting these in names lets the VBA code run an intersect on it. So you can tell, hey, if my selection is intersecting with one of these things, then they're trying to pick a swatch or they're trying to paint in the area or they're trying to hit the undo button. And this is a great way to sort of make hot spots in the grid and having a, a really easy VBA way to do it. And whenever you touch a swatch, I copy that to the clipboard and then you can check later on, hey, if we're in cut copy mode, then you can actually just paint the area by pasting in the color. The way the reset works is there's a hidden sheet and it has all the traceable things on there. When you hit reset, it basically will just copy from that sheet on top of where the, the traceable object is. So if you unhide the sheet, you'll see here, it's just a list of these uh, different traceable things. And that is it. Pretty short and sweet. Easy thing to do to create some fun uh, interactivity in Excel. Mm -hmm.